Hi everyone, Chris here. And the past couple of days, I've been talking about Bloom's taxonomy and the different ways you can categorize learning, types of learning, and, and add how that can influence the way you write your learning objectives and how you approach your instructional design work. And um, that kind of has me excited to move on to a new topic. But before I do, I wanted to spend today uh, just to reiterate that uh, Bloom may be the most popular uh, articulation of the different categories of learning, but he's not the only game in town. And I'm not just talking about um, the revisions because they're still known as Bloom's taxonomy. Probably the most, I'd say the most popular alternative to Bloom's approach, but really this is a distant second. If you don't study curriculum or instructional design, you probably won't even hear about Gagne's different um, conditions of learning. And there's definitely some overlap, as we know, because they're both trying to describe the same thing. So Gagne has, uh, he breaks down the different learning outcomes into different categories as well. Only he doesn't quite do the same um, leveling inside of each of the taxonomies. Instead, he just sort of goes a little broader and breaks them up into additional categories. So let's see what uh, Gagne has to say for the different types of learning outcomes. Um, and I'm going to start at the bottom of his list, and you'll see why in a moment. So the first is motor skills. Hmm, that seems to have a direct parallel with Bloom. And then there's attitudes. Again, a direct parallel with blue. So motor skills would map up with psychomotor and attitudes would match up pretty closely with the affective domain. But then this is where Gagne goes a little different. Instead of just having the cognitive domain, he breaks it up a little smaller. So he does have cognitive strategies, but really this is when you're teaching about strategies. Um, and then he has verbal information, which is literally just the ability to parrot back information. And then he has intellectual skills. And he breaks down intellectual skills into discrimination, concrete concepts, defined concepts, rules, and higher order rules. And in higher order rules, he literally mentions generating new things. And then but the rules are to demonstrate. So they, there's definitely some overlap, which is kind of neat. And yeah, I was reading that um, out of The Essentials of Learning by Gagne. And um, Gagne is cool for a bunch of reasons. One is he has an accent on one of the E's in his name, which is always cool. Uh, another one is you can pick up used copies of early editions of Gagne's books for pennies. I literally think I bought this for one penny with four ninety nine shipping, so five bucks. And then... Same deal for this one, and same deal for this one. So 15 bucks, and somebody paid a whole lot of money back in the day when they were studying um, educational technology and distance education and instructional design, whatever they were studying at the time. But I got them all cheap off Amazon. So there's a suggestion for you. Go find some Gagne books cheap off Amazon. And if you only are, if you're going to start somewhere, I would start with the essentials of learning for instruction. Um, try to find it as cheap as you can, and it's fun. It's also real short, which is nice for an education book. Anyway, that's what I wanted to mention today: is that there are alternatives to Bloom's, and um, one worth checking out is Gagne. So, I'll see you tomorrow.